up guys it is Keely here this is my face that you will be seeing four to six times a week okay you guys four to six times a week and if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below and with that notification bell so you will never miss another video from me today's video is going to be interesting because I am going to tell you guys things that gluing is in that you're probably like what it's in what? And you guys, oh my gosh, when I found out some of the stuff, I was like, wait a minute. Why on earth is gluten in that? Why? Oh my goodness. Enough of me ranting on, you guys. This video is going to have a gluten is in what portion and a five tips to doing gluten free portion. So without further ado, let's get into this gluten free living episode. What's up? Number one. Is a shocker. Like I, when I found this out, I had to go through my whole medication cabinet. There is gluten in medications, and I was like, "Are you kidding me? Are, are you serious?" So, so to find out that gluten is in medication, I'm like, "So I'm gonna check medication for the rest of my life." Like really? <laughs> Number two, you guys already know, and that is beauty products. But you guys, I'm going to add on to this. It is not essentially just like beauty products as in makeup. It's also like tanning stuff. It's skincare products like contact lenses, your shampoo, conditioner, body wash, lotion, all of that jazz, you guys. You have to look out. Long well, story short, everything that you put in your body on your body and anything that your body absorbs including perfume you guys have to look out for it and watch it do whatever you have to do to you know save it like save your body do what you gotta do number three vitamin supplements and this is another reason why it scared me because i take these vita fusion like fruit gummies like the vitamins or um, i was like why there is gluten in pickles pickles like that made so much sense because I ate pickles and I felt so sick afterwards and I was like what is going on like they're pickles so apparently it's what makes the pickles pickles that has gluten in it so how pickles are like mainly cucumbers what they do between the process of becoming a cucumber and a pickle that middle process is what has gluten. I'm probably gonna say number five wrong, but that is bullion cubes. Bullion cubes, bullion cubes, I don't know. Um, basically those um, little cubes that have like the chicken broth and stuff that you'll just like, you'll put your little cup when you're sick and just you know, stir it around and drink it. Number six is kind of a given and that is gravy. Um, I'm still a bit confused on why exactly gravy is gluten-free, is not gluten-free, but you didn't get gluten-free gravy. I had gluten-free gravy biscuits the other night with my family and you guys, so good. It was delicious. My family, I would understand dairy in this next one, but it's blue cheese and I'm like, why is there gluten in that? And then number eight is hot dogs and I get this one because... Like, when I went to the nutritionist and, you know, even though she already told me everything that, like, I pretty much already knew, which was, like, a wasted, you know, bottom cash. They say for those that have to go gluten-free and make the switch to seriously only stick to chicken, turkey, and fish, specifically Pollock for the fish. Number nine is so weird. There's gluten and soy sauce. What am I leaving my lacto and noodles with? Like, honestly. Honestly. Like, soy sauce. Number 10 is depressing, but I knew that I couldn't have it because of the dairy. Little did I know that there was gluten in this. Um, there's gluten in hot chocolate. That has got to be one of the most depressing things that I've ever heard of in my life. Number 11 is french fries. And I get this, but I don't get it because it was just potatoes. You know, why does it have it? That's a 50-50 one. Like, I'm really, I'm not understanding because I tried french fries at McDonald's. I bloated. I tried french fries from Chick-fil-A. I didn't bloat. 
I'm like, wait, are they really gluten-free? Are they not gluten-free? Or is it certain french fries that are gluten-free? Number 12 shocked me. This is the last one. And I'm gonna say before I say this, I know that on so many packages under um, under the ingredient allergy stuff, I don't know what I'm doing, but we're just going with it. Under the ingredients, it always says like allergies contains, normally it says wheat, soy, and milk, or milk, or one of each, or two of each, all three. A lot of people looked for that, and I looked for that until I saw this, and I was like, oh snap. So, not all wheat-free products are gluten-free. Yes, gluten and wheat are essentially the same thing, but apparently not in all aspects, and I did not know this, you guys. I was like, mind blown like i was mind blown when i heard that i was like wait okay so back up the train it must say gmo approved or have the gluten-free symbol on the product for you to thoroughly be safe so moving on to the going gluten-free advice portion of this video so, before you go gluten-free I would highly advise that you start bringing some gluten-free things into your life before you completely don't deliver your life. Number two is to practice reading your labels since you're pretty much going to have to do this the rest of your life unless it says gluten-free on it. Not wheat-free, gluten-free. Reading the labels is going to be very, very important, especially if you don't go to a store like H-E-B where it has gluten-free labels and that's the price on okay. the shelves. Number three is something to really do before you go gluten-free, and that is to thoroughly research the products that you use on a daily basis. And this has to do with your everyday routines, makeup, shower, hair, taking care of yourself. Number four is something I learned from the hard way, and I'm going to tell you guys this as well. Okay. Mm. Just because a label that you're reading does not say that it has gluten in it, or does not say that it has wheat in it, or does not say that it has maltodextrin in it, does not mean that you should assume that it does not have it in it. And the I last tip is such a cliche, but it's true. It is true, you guys. Make the change at your own pace you do not want to rush this process you guys i'm telling you you do not want to put a rush on it yes you're gonna want to go out to eat yes you're gonna want your starbucks every day and yes you're gonna want to go out with your friends and go to parties and stuff and have fun especially in the summertime like now but you can't rush the process and i know i make this sound like you know some big big thing but like it's big to me it's big to me and it's big for me to help you guys and it's really important just not to rush it. Don't like push past your boundaries. The human body can only adapt so fast to something so different. Okay you guys, so with literally all of this being said, I will hope you guys did something from this video. This has got to be the most informational gluten-free living episode that I've done yet. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below, and double whack that notification bell down below, and I will see you guys in the next video, and make sure you remember these tips. Get a notebook, get a pen, go back, write them down, do what you gotta do, because they're important. They're important information. Bye, you guys. And I, ooh, jeez, that cold. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have goosebumps. Yikes. You guys, am I in focus? I don't think I'm, am I in focus? I don't know if I'm in focus. Am I in focus? Okay, now I think I'm in focus. Okay. What is the circle on my screen like? Don't forget to hit that, wait. Don't forget to hit that.